This video is going to be part two. In the first video, I showed you how to find pre screened high quality, low competition keywords using Rank IQ. Now I'll be showing you how to write SEO optimized content using the SEO and keyword report from Rank IQ using ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and get started. So the keyword that we found was ChatGPT cover letter, and this is the content analysis that we got back from Rank IQ. And these are going to be the key terms in which we need to include within that article. So what I've done is I've downloaded the report, which is a CSV file, and I've used the playground mode in ChatGPT. The reason why I'm using the assistant mode over the chat mode is because the assistant mode allows you to upload files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that CSV file that we got back from Rank IQ about the keyword chat GPT cover letter. And then I'm going to prompt the AI to let it know that we'll be writing an article. We'll be trying to rank for the keyword, which is chat GPT cover letter. We're going to write in a simple to read informative tone. I've also instructed the AI to follow the best SEO on page practices and keyword optimization for the target keyword and then i've also told it i've uploaded a file and i want you to follow the instructions of that file when writing your content so i've essentially prompted the ai to write seo optimized content for this specific article and this specific keyword and i've also uploaded the seo report onto the assistant mode so it has a lot of information to work with when writing the content so this is the full content and i'll show you exactly how i was able to write this article if you would like to use these instructions and these um, prompts for yourselves, I'll leave a link in the description below. The first prompt is my basic SEO prompt, which I use to generate outlines. So first I wanted it to generate an outline before gener generating the full article. And this is the blog post topic, chat GPT cover letter, crafting your way to your dream job. Instructions, we get a hook, understanding cover letters, what is a cover letter, the essential elements of a cover letter, the rise of AI in job applications, what is ChatGPT, the advantages of using ChatGPT, how ChatGPT can enhance your cover letter, if you scroll down, tailing your cover letter with ChatGPT, specific industry um, cover letters, the role of personalization, best practices for using ChatGPT, and common questions and concerns, and a conclusion. So a pretty comprehensive and detailed outline. So once I had the outline, then I told it to write the full article, but instead of writing the full article in one shot, I told it to start by writing the first section and then I will tell you when to continue. So it first started with the introduction. So ChatGPT cover letter, crafting your way to your dream job. And it did a really, really good job at writing the intro. As you can see here, it is able to write a very appealing hook. So it talks about Sarah, who is an aspiring marketer. She spends hundreds of weeks uh, job hunting for the perfect job. She tweaks her resume, networks relentlessly, and finally she finds it the dream role at an innovative startup. But there's one hurdle left, which is she needs to write a cover letter. So this is really, really nice because it kind of hooks the reader in. It's very relatable as well. And it's not like every other introduction that you would have for an article like this. And I think it's because we're using the assistant mode. I think it's also because we instructed it very well. And I think it's also because we probably uploaded that file with those keywords in which it needs to include. So for example, ChatGPT can optimize your cover letter is a keyword within that specific SEO report and some of the other bolded words. So that is the introduction. Then it asks you if you're happy with this section or do you want to move on? So I told it to move on. Then we had the second section, which is understanding cover letters. What is a cover letter? The essential elements of a cover letter. And I like how well formatted this article is. As you can see, there's bolded words, there is list, um, it's very, very well formatted and very easy to read. The rise of AI in job applications. What is ChatGPT? The advantages of ChatGPT. How to enhance your cover letter using ChatGPT and so on. So this is a really, really good article. I can just tell by reading through it and skimming through the content. It is very well formatted. It um, is easy to read and it answers the question and writes a very detailed outline on ChatGPT cover letters. And lastly, we get some common questions and concerns about ChatGPT cover letters. If we notice here, it's actually using that keyword ChatGPT cover letters into the H2 um, tag. So it's already automatically including this within your tags, which is a really, really good sign because that's obviously going to help you with your um, with your SEO score. So again, we see our best practices for using ChatGPT in cover letters. Again, it's using a variation of that target keyword. Tailoring your cover letter with ChatGPT. Again, another variation of that keyword used within the header. ChatGPT for cover letters again. So I already presume we're going to have a high SEO score when we go ahead and give this a test. So that was the process that I used to write the article. The only thing that I missed was I should have told it to write in markdown mode, but that's fine. 
Let's quickly see how long this article is. In terms of word count, this is about 2,200 words. So that is really, really good in terms of length. So let's now go ahead and copy this over and we're going to test the SEO score on Neuron Writer. This is the content that we generated from ChatGPT using the Playground Assistant mode. And as you can see here, we already have a score of 43, which is pretty good. So now we're gonna prompt the AI to write a title and a meta description. When we updated the title and the meta description, as you can see, we have a score of 63 now. So this is a pretty decent score. Your score is going to vary based upon the keyword which you're going after and even the tool that you're using. I may get a higher score on a different tool like Surfer SEO or Phrase compared to New On Writer. But if you're happy with your content and you've already done fairly good SEO optimization and you already have some authority on your website, that is a very, very important point. You need to already have authority on your website if you would like to rank for specific keywords. But once you have met those metrics, you can be very confident in posting your blog posts um, on Google and ranking for those specific keywords. If you wanted to, you can always manually optimize this content by including specific keywords like the terms in header that's recommended into your content to increase your optimization score. But if you're happy with your score, then you can go ahead and post this blog post on your website and have confidence that you will rank for those keywords. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you can now combine Rank IQ with ChatGPT to find pre-screen high quality low competition keywords and then use ChatGPT specifically the assistant mode to write SEO optimized content. If you did enjoy today's video let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time stay well.